We are joined now by Marsha Rigg, a member of the United Friends and Families campaign. Well, that is a London-based coalition of campaigns by the friends and families of people who have died in police custody. Marsha, thanks so much for your time for TRT World. Um, I know your brother Sean died after police restrained him back in 2008. All officers were cleared of wrongdoing. How do you see the events that are currently taking place in the, U in the U.S. and what they have in common with the U.K.? Well, deaths in the UK have been happening for decades. Uh, we had the death of um, we had the death of Oshipi Lapetti in the 90s. That was a chokehold. We've had the death of Rashan Charles, which is the most recent one. And the uprisings that have been happening in the United States have been happening in the, in the United Kingdom for decades, precisely because of police brutality and deaths in custody. And I stand here in support, and all the other families from the United Families and Friends campaign, we send our condolences to George Floyd's family and our solidarity with them. And they are not alone. They are not in isolation. This is a global issue, and we really need to make a difference now and to make a stand, because enough is enough. Right, Marsha, uh, your brother, uh, Sean, died uh, more than 10 years ago. Uh, can you compare uh, what has been done in, in the UK when it comes to this issue since then? Is it moving forward? Nothing has moved forward. Um, we have had some recent reports um, that the Home Office did on the back of my brother's case and Shaney Lewis's case. Um, and it's called the Angelini Review, but we're still waiting for those recommendations to be implemented. The United Families and Friends campaign calls on Boris Johnson, the United Kingdom um, Prime Minister, to charge officers that have um, killed my, our loved ones, my loved ones and other families' loved ones. Nothing has ever, um, no officer has ever received any proper accountability. We also have deaths in prisons, in mental health settings and in immigration settings as well. Mm. And Marsha, how important is uh, for the family member to see these people brought to justice? Uh, we know that many protesters currently in the U.S. are asking for other three police officers to be prosecuted. Um, how important is this? And do you think if, if this happens, the situation uh, in the U.S. could de-escalate? If the officers had been charged, all four of them had been charged immediately or arrested, the, the uprisings in the United States would not be happening today. This is the pain of the people, the voice of the people, because it's not just the death of George Floyd, it's all the other deaths globally um, for decades. This cannot go on forever. Is this going to be our plight? forever. It cannot be. It is totally immoral. And if somebody commits murder, they have to have proper accountability, which means a jail sentence. That's what all families want to see. Okay, Marsha, and seems like uh, many uh, in Britain uh, think the same. We've seen those pictures coming into us from London uh, today and how important this issue is for them. Thanks so much for your time and for your input for us uh, at TRT World.